Hello my lovelies, welcome back. I have a review video for you and it's only one product but I've seen it featured quite a lot over the internet recently. Um, it's been launched quite a while and it's been on a few YouTube channels, Instagram pictures and I was very fortunate to be given an option to try it and sample it. So I've been using it for the last few weeks and it is the Benefit Big Easy. Now this is bigger than BB. It's a liquid to powder oil free multi balancing complexion perfecter. It's 35 mils and it's an SPF of 35. Now, as I say, I've been trying this on and off over the last few weeks between my normal bases and I've been applying it with my fingers, with the Real Techniques buffing brush, with a normal foundation brush from Clinique. I've been using a Beauty Blender sponge. I've been using it over my Origins moisturiser, my Sisley moisturiser, I've been using it over the Chanel Blanc de Chanel, I've used it over my Hourglass Primer, I've really been giving it a good workout. So I've used it and put lots of makeup over the top, not a lot of makeup over the top. Um, yeah, it's, it's really been through, through the mill with me and this is sort of my findings so far. Now what I will say is I do want to use this during the summer months as well just to see how it reacts on my skin. I have to say that I haven't been overly impressed with this at all. Um, I found it hard work to apply, didn't apply very well when I used my fingers, using the Real Techniques buffing brush it was hard work, I had to sort of press it into my skin using the Clinique foundation brush, whatever brush I used, there were brush strokes, you could see them on my face. In the end, um, I found the easiest application method was to apply it with a buffing brush and push it onto my face and then actually press it in with a sponge, a damp sponge, and that worked. Over my Origins Moisturiser, the Make a Difference Plus, which is quite a glowy finish to the skin, it sat very nicely. And that was probably the best um, moisturiser it sat over, to be honest. Over my Sicily moisturiser, it wasn't great. It looked a little bit cakey. Um, over primer, a definite no-no. It did not work over either the Chanel or the Hourglass primer. It looked very cakey. You could still see it on my face, even though I blended it the best I could. I just found it hard work. It is a liquid to powder finish, but I felt as soon as it hits the air on your face, it starts to change. I was kind of wondering if it was gonna be a little bit like the L'Oreal Magique, where you get that lovely sort of powder finish, but it's so soft and translucent. I didn't find this to be the case. I used a tiny amount and I still found it quite cakey and drying. I used a lot to see how the coverage would build up. That was just horrendous. Trying to blend it and blend it and blend it, it was just not working at all. Um, makeup goes on it absolutely fine. I didn't have a problem putting makeup on. I, it certainly lasted throughout the day, but it was obvious. When I looked closely at it, I could see it. I just felt it was too drying for me. I do have a combination oily skin. I was aware that my skin changes, so I've used it over different weeks at different you know, times to try and judge it across the board. No, it didn't impress me. As I say, I do want to use it in the summer because my skin will be very different in the summer months and I'd like to give it a chance then. The good thing about it is you obviously do not need to powder um, over this. But other than that, it just didn't do it for me. Um, I did have the shade, if you're interested, 02, which is light. I wasn't sure whether to ask for the light. They do have a medium, but I was worried that the medium might be too dark, although this does adapt to your skin colour. Um, yeah, it just didn't really work for me at this moment, but I will continue to use it. I will keep you updated, but I have seen a lot of people using it. I'm very interested to know if you've used it, how you found it. But at this moment in time, the Big Easy was a big fail for me. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry it was a bit of a, a downer of a, a review video, but you know, not everything suits everybody. So 
I may change my mind and of course I'll let you know. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you as ever for your fabulous comments. Any questions at all about this or anything else beauty wise do ask. Also if you've any other questions that I can throw together a question and answer video please ask them below or you can find other links as well where you can contact me. Um, yeah just general questions within reason as I always say but thank you everybody for watching and I'll be back soon with another Rouge Pout video. Bye! Thank you.